Hi guys, it's Tom from Dreamlight Gaming, uh, back with another X-Wing video. This time we're going to unbox Slave 1. Um, I'm very excited again. <laughs> uh, one of our, uh, one of my friends has bought me a Slave 1 um, as a, a part payment towards a few models I've painted for him. So I said, hey, just get me a Slave. It's exactly what I'm after. Uh, so let's crack it open. As always, cellophane sealed. It's come straight off our website, dreamlightgaming.com. Let's have a look what there. Uh, what you get. We've been playing plenty of X-Wing. Um, just getting used to the rules before we bring any battle reports out for it. <clears throat> uh, so a lot of the local lads have got into it, got their, uh, their core sets off us and we're looking forward to, uh, to bringing the X-Wing to you. So let's have a look. Ooh. We've got a little a box there, a miniature. So in his packaging, put that down there. So let's look at the bit that we all uh, <laughs> like the most. Let's have a look at Slave itself. The thing about Fantasy Flight, they just, you can tell, I'm not going to be able to open this now, am I? There we go. You can tell that the people out there that make Fantasy Flight genuinely care about the product. <clears throat> it's not a, a quick cash in. Somebody's really, really got, I mean, that's incredible. Somebody's really gone to the effort here. I mean, obviously it's a lot larger ship, a lot larger ship than the X wings that I've shown you, and the, even the ties. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's worth a lot to me. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's exactly Boba Fett Slave One. Yeah, so it's in keeping with the same thing. The detail on the back is is excellent. I don't know if you can, can see it. It's the paint on it is fantastic, you know, for pre-paint there's grime on there, it looks like somebody's washed it. For a pre-painted, they're excellent. You can't complain about the quality of the miniatures. So there we go, there's slaves there. <laughs> Another one. See, this is the thing I like about Fantasy Flight. So they brought a new, this is part of the Wave 2 release, Slave. He's uh, obviously Boba Fett, um, a straight away component list, little additional rules book. Um, because I believe there's auxiliary firing arcs. Look on that. All different things. So we've got new upgrade cards, modifications, tiles, bombs. There's a full mechanic on Slave 1, how he drops his sonic mines. Um, component list, new rules, unique names. And so for anything that's new in there, there's no, amb no ambiguity, you know, they simply just uh, bring it out, you know, and it's as simple as that. He's straight out of the bag, buff, there's your new rules. Wow, it's Fire Spray, it's actually a very quick ship, I don't know if anyone can see that. Um, the way X-Wing works, it can do the four straight forward, uh, the four come about turn, three come about turn, and some sharp turns as well, so it's relatively quite fast for a big lad. Um, he's quite spry. So, let's get to the bit that's exciting. So you get a nice bag. Again, think about Fantasy Flight. The quality on these components is, is excellent. Um, it comes with a nice thick cardboard, as you always expect. Um, so we've got shield tokens, more numbers. The Turner, uh, which is the, the way you select actions in X-Wing. Uh, for a Fire Spirit 31. Boba Fett, Pilot Skill 8, there he is, maybe you guys can see that, he's Pilot Skill 8, he has the evade, target lock and focus, uh, forward and back firing arcs, just as Slave 1 has, uh, 3 attack dice, 2 evade, what's that, 4 shield and 6 hull I believe, 4 shield 6 hull, that's crazy, <laughs> these bigger ships are really going to uh, gonna change the way the game plays, but that's cool, nice things as well, they give you extra stress tokens in there, the mine took wow. Are you dropping that out of the back <laughs> in a game where that's the size of the ship? You're gonna cause some serious damage, aren't you? So that's a, a mine of some kind. Pop that one out. Yeah, a little bounty on the tokens. A look at everything else. Yeah. Just nice the fantasy flight, take the time to you know, really, really give you all the extra that they can. Um, so, when you're talking about upgrade cards, <laughs> your slave can't go far wrong with that, can you? 
Um, lots and lots of upgrade cards. That's a little widget to make the turn in circle. I'll just pick a couple of them. Read out to you. Homing missiles. They're an original one. Assault missiles. Ion cannon. Heavy laser cannon. Uh, attack dice 4. Range band 2 to 3. Attack 1 ship. Immediately after rolling your attack dice, you must change all of your crit hits to normal hits. 7 points. Wow. Expose action. Till the end of the net round, increase your primary weapon value by 1. Increase your agility by 1. Veteran instincts. Increase your pilot skill by 2. Wow. That's only one point as well. You get Vader up to the power skill 11. Seismic charges, cool. <laughs> so, that looks like a proximity mine. Which is that one, just going off what it looks like. Discard this card to drop one proximity mine token. So it's three points if you want to drop a mine. Uh, when a ship executes a maneuver, if its base or maneuver template overlaps this token, this token detonates. I'm sure it's very cool. Stealth device, that's awesome. And increase your agility value by one. And if you hit a discard, that's three points. TIE fighters with that are awesome. Mercenary co pilot, Wookiee Gunner, yeah. And the, the one thing that they've done in the expansion boxes the this is a Fire Spirit 31, uh, so you can use it at all different points levels. If you want to make it Slave 1, you can name it Slave 1. Uh, only the Fire Spirit can be called a Slave 1. Uh, your upgrade bar gains the icon for, I believe that's torpedoes, I may be wrong, um, I think it's torpedoes, one or the other, but that's something else then, it just adds a bit more variety to what can happen. So you've got all of those, all of those options, let's have a look at the option cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different option cards there. The model itself. Base. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so it's a big lad that goes on a big base. Here we go, these are rather cool, aren't they? Bomb tokens. Oh, cool. Right, reference card and bombs. This seismic charge and proximity mine tokens are bomb tokens. Bomb tokens detonate as described on their corresponding upgrade cards. Uh, so proximity mine, when this bomb token detonates the ship that moved over or overlapped the token, rolls three attack dice and suffers all damage and critical damage rolled. Well that's pretty nasty isn't it? Things like little things like ear wings following you. Eye on reference, nice reference tokens as well, so you don't have to always dig through a book. So we'll look at the pilots then. Okay, so we start at 33 points. We've got a bounty hunter who's pilot skill three in a fire spray. So you can, you could have three fire sprays in a fleet. <laughs> and Crassus Trellix in a fire spray. Uh, when attacking with a secondary weapon, you may reroll one attack dice. He's five pilot skill and 36 points. Kath Scarlet, seven fire sp uh, in a fire spray, obviously. Uh, he is seven fire pilot skill. When attacking the defense, he receives one stress token if he cancels at least one critical hit result. 38 points, and then the lad himself, Boba Fett. 39 points, pilot skill 8. When you reveal a bank maneuver, you rotate your dial to the other bank maneuver of the same speed. That's useful. So you can really be... Yeah, very. And he's got access to up to 5 upgrades on there, so the Slave 1 itself could be quite a devastating little thing. So that's the unboxing of Slave 1. I'm going <laughs> to happily punch out all of my tokens now and pretend that I'm a bounty hunter. I'm um, just struggling to uh, stay alive. <laughs> so thanks for watching. <coughs> Check it out. Get your Star Wars models from dreamlikegaming.com. Follow the link below. And as always, keep it, keep it dreamlike. And may the force be with you.